Okay, so we are here all together to um, to sign and then celebrate the uh, signature of the Memorandum of Understanding between Eurobus and Mercator Ocean International. So we are physically all here in Toulouse at Mercator Ocean International. So I just want to welcome first my, my guest and of course all the remote participants. So I'm, I'm Pierre Bayorel, I'm the Director General of Mercator. And I'm here sitting with uh, heading the chair of Eurobus. Maybe you want to say a few words just to go. We, we go for it on the top just to let okay. people know who we are. And then yeah. we... Thank you, um, Pierre. Yeah, as you, you mentioned, I'm the chair of the Eurobus uh, Board of Directors. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be here as well. And welcome you all. Next one is Inga. OK. Hello, everyone. I'm Inga Lips, and uh, I'm a Secretary General of Eurogoose, leading the Eurogoose Secretariat. So I'm Enrique Alvarez, and I have the pleasure of being here with two hats. On one hand, I am part of the board of uh, Eurogoose. And on the other hand, I belong to the organization. I belong to Mercator Ocean. I am the technical uh, coordinator of the Ocean Prediction the Gate Collaborative Center. Okay, so Pierre Evelotraon, the scientific director of uh, Mercator, and uh, also I've been involved in uh, the link and collaboration with Eurogos for a long time. <laughs> and I was a former member of the Eurogos board as well. And I'm Holger Briggs, I'm vice chair of the Eurogos executive board. And yeah, happy to be here and see us moving forward with this uh, collaboration. Thank you. So we are we are here in the Qatar. So we have around one hundred in the in the building, and we feel also the uh, the presence of the the Eurobus community everywhere in Europe. So uh, we are very happy to feel connecting with all of you. Uh, well, so what we have planned with Inga and Henning is to uh, share a few words before to enter into the, the, the real work, which is to sign this, this MOU, and, and in these few words, we will, well, I would like to explain, I start, yes, please, to explain why we are doing this today. Uh, so I have prepared a text. <laughs> Saying that Mercator Ocean uh, has been a member of Eurogoos since the very first day of Mercator. And uh, it has been the first decision uh, I took to enter this new legal uh, entity 20 years ago uh, into the, uh, the into Eurogoose and pay the fee. And, and the accounting of Mercator Ocean, the first uh, thing is the, uh, the cotization of Eurogoose. It's, it's history, I mean. But it was uh, done on purpose for two reasons. And I would, I would like to explain why we did, I decided to have a Mercator part of Eurogoose. It's because I wanted this young organization to become a, a, an ocean center. And uh, I was looking for the recognition of, of Eurobus, the reference organization for this. And also because the, um, the model of development of Mercator that I had in mind was really based on cooperation. So I was looking for the best partners. And there is only one organization in Europe where you can bring together all the, uh, the, the ocean centers. And, and, and this is uh, Eurobus. So it, it was the, the reason 20 years ago, and uh, frankly, it was a good choice. It was a good choice because, well, we know what we have achieved all together, uh, but we, we found Mercator uh, the, the place to invent ourselves and, and to develop what, uh, what we, we had in mind and to find uh, the best partner. So thank you very much for this. For this uh, this um, the service that you offer to uh, the members of, of your groups. And I just want also to maybe insist about this, uh, this, this, what we have achieved together between these 20 years, because of course, well, we know what happened to Eurogoose. You have extended the, uh, you have improved the representativeness of, the, uh, of this organization with more members, uh, more countries, more skills. At the same time, Mercator, we, we, we grown as, as well, and we, we grew and we, we have our, our today uh, international recognition. And I really think that this is thanks to the, this cooperation or this partnership that we have together. And this community work, we, we will continue because we, we love it at Mercator. We will continue uh, in, the, in the frame of the UN decade, for example, for example with this uh, collaborative center that, we will, that Enrique will lead uh, for the ocean prediction, which is, again, this idea that we want to export the way, uh, the idea we have in Europe and share this with the world. So uh, this is the spirit of, uh, 
what we found in Europe. So I just want to say thank you for that. And also maybe a message to our community is that it has not happened by chance. If there are today a strong um, community in Europe for operational photography, it's also thanks to the fact that uh, we had great uh, great discussions within the Eurobus members organized by the secretary and the chair. And also uh, thanks to the interventions, of the influential interventions of the secretary of the, and, and the chair uh, towards the, the funding authorities, the decision makers. And this is something which is maybe not very visible but this is very, very important. And uh, if we have today Copernicus and Monnet that are huge infrastructure services and funding, this is thanks to some discussions um, between us, some discussions between the Eurogroup management and the, uh, the funding authorities. Uh, and uh, we, must be, we must keep this in mind to reinforce the, uh, the, the, the way, the, the, this way of working in the future. Okay, but this about the past. So what is, is important is uh, what comes next. And uh, if we are, I mean, okay, we are we are okay with the open ocean and the mesoscale monitoring. We are okay with the ocean climate uh, assessment. So we are good in doing this, but we have challenges like the coastal and biology. And this is immense. And we really would need to, uh, to address this, this part. And there is a lot of difficulties that we will have, uh, but I think we can, we can make it. And I would like to have the second statement and then I will, I, will, I will close to say that there is a lot about science and technology. Uh, okay, this is very challenging to address at the same time, uh, mesoscale scale climate, uh, biology, polar areas and, and coastal, but I'm not too much worried by, uh, about science and technology. And there is something about infrastructures. And this part is very important. And this is very different because science and technology we like uh, distributed things, moving organizations, change the leaders. There is someone leading this part, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. But for infrastructures, we need stable uh, organization, uh, able to talk with uh, funding authorities, uh, with a, a, a longer, uh, a long a vision, with the, the long time vision. And uh, this is exactly what I'm looking, um, what I see when I, when, uh, when I, what I, what I, have in, what I have in mind, sorry, about this MOU. We need to take care about these infrastructures for the futures. And I have two main challenges in mind. Of course, we made the Copernicus service infrastructures, the Monnet data infrastructures and others. We made simple things like uh, satellite infrastructures and Argos that are simple to understand and to explain. Okay. <laughs> but now we have EOS and digital twin ocean. And they are very difficult because this is difficult to explain because this is. They are fractal uh, in nature. We don't know where it starts and when it ends. And for an investor deciding to invest in EOS, you don't know exactly what you will pay for. And digital twin ocean, which is a connection of everything, the same, the same thing. So we need to have this uh, MOU between Eurogoose and Mercator Ocean International to reinforce ourselves, to be identified as the reference and stable and solid organizations to talk to the investment authorities to say that, yes, we are able to do that. And we are able to, to raise the, uh, the maturity of our community to, uh, to set up these infrastructures. So this, this, this is really the message I have in mind. Um, if, if we say EOS, Eurogoose, and Digital Twin Ocean and Mercator, it's a bit simple, but it's, it, it, it's, I think that would be a, an alliance for, for doing everything uh, together. But I'm really thinking about being a strong organization. So we need a strong Eurogoose and uh, we need to, to, to work uh, all together. Uh, that's, that's all, that's all. I'm very happy to sign the, uh, this MOU and this is what I would like to mark in, in, in signing. And the last word is the, the fact that by chance, uh, we are lucky to, to work with you. We are, I mean, the, Everything is about people, and uh, it's a pleasure to, uh, to, to work with, with, with you, with your three and, and the, uh, the Eurogoos board. So we should uh, take benefit of, of, of this and enjoy this uh, adventure. Thank you for this. Yeah, thank you very much, Pierre, for these um, proactive and, and motivating words. So th that, those are very much appreciated from the Eurogoos and from all of the Eurogoos members, of course. We are as well very much delighted today and and looking forward to the to the enhancement of collaboration with these MOU 
we have observed, of course, that we, as you stated 20 years ago, 20, uh, since the beginning, we started with the first thoughts on the sustainable marine environmental information service to, to fulfill the needs of the environment and, and going via the My Ocean projects together. And we, we observed that, that Mercator Ocean was always a trustful and reliable and good collaborating partner. And as you mentioned now, it's of course the people. We, we were always thought uh, thinking that, that we can trust you and we can work together by, by, by yeah, on, on a daily basis, on the larger uh, thematics and, and on strategy and on solving the, the issues. So we are, we, uh, we felt all for all, always that it was a fruitful and proactive, um, that Mercator was fruitful and proactive, um, supporting you, goose activities, and we, we are looking forward to, to have that continued and enhanced in, in future. Which is on, uh, yeah, totally ongoing to our identification of, of our main goals, which is identify European priorities for operational oceanography, promotion, foster cooperation, co production, and not at least, as we mentioned, the sustained ocean observation systems or observations, which is very important in the development of, of EUs. And we are looking forward to strengthen that collaboration in the future. That is, of course, we are advocating for integrated and coordinating uh, coordinated ocean observing and, and operational oceanography, which is then with that uh, memorandum of, of understanding, I look forward to, to speak with one voice towards the, the stakeholders, the, 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 the funding agencies, the European Commission, and, and all the all the community out and inside uh, Europe and outside in the world. And, we are uh, looking forward to, to with that, the signing of this agreement is that we further development the Copernicus Marine Service, we further development or uh, deliver our contribution to the to the ocean prediction center, which is then led by 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 Enrique, and of course the the digital twin ocean, the end of enhancement of that, and. But for, for Eurogroups as well, and the members and the Eurogroups regions, it's of specific importance that we are um, working on the sustainable development of ocean observing systems, which is then the, the basis or the sound basis for, for developing better improved services in terms of the physical ocean, what we are achieved quite a lot, as you stated, and the climate, and, but we are having to widen that focus to the ocean health to healthy things and to the use of the ocean in more, in more general terms. And that we are looking forward to with all our members and regions in, in collaborating with Mercator. So we are delighted, delighted to deepen the, the trustful collaboration with Mercator Ocean International. And we, I, I think I can stop my intervention by, by aiming for, for building together the ocean we want for the for the uh, no 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 i'm i'm a bit fine we want to, the science to achieve the science we want for the ocean we need mm -hmm. or we know the science we need or the ocean we want so yeah. <laughs> so that is back to the to the UNDK you have named as well sorry for that but the memorandum is a golden opportunity to travel along these lines and are strong actors together, speaking with, with one voice and aiming for sustainable management of the healthy ocean forever. Thank you very much. That was my short thing. Ready to Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. 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 <laughs> I just picked up, I think, the most important things here. First of all, the mentioned people, and then Henning mentioned uh, uh, common voice. So that I think this is a key that, that we have to have. We have to have the common messages to the communities outside our range and, and also to the funders. But what I would also like to add that. Uh, it's not just 
Eurobus community, we are currently kind of uniting with more uniting with Mercator Ocean International. But Eurogoose is the main facilitator also of European Ocean Observing System, the development of that. And we can really um, facilitate more the connections with different member states. And I think that this is relevant to, to have the sustained services and products that Mercator Ocean is developing. And, and these services and products should also be taken up by member states. And that needs a little bit more active let's say facilitation and, and, and promotion. And I hope that Yugos can also help in that. Point, member states, you're very right. And not only the member states, also the associated. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the states, the, the states, yes. <laughs> Great, yeah. so shall we sign the uh, MOU we need for this uh, partnership we want? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yes. Okay, let's go, uh, my friend. Is it, is it time for it? Yes, it's time for it. Okay. Ready for the story? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How to, to function. Uh, mm -hmm. When we are smiling, it's a very serious game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we okay. okay. Thank you. Bro. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Inga, it's a pleasure. <laughs> okay. Um, good. Thank you very much. Then we will stop maybe the uh, broadcast and uh, say hello, everyone. And uh, well, let's go now. We, yes. we know what we have to do. We have to <laughs> start working. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.